Hello everyone. My name is Gilberto Luis. I am the technical manager of Electro Integra SAC in Peru. We have been the ETAP rep for the last 22 years. And we have really uh, introduced in the last uh, years the uh, the software in the mining industry, which is the main economic uh, resource or area economic area of Peru. Uh, this time, I would like to share with you a project. Uh, an expansion project regarding the tailings dam. And this is, uh, has been done for one of the largest and oldest mines in south of Peru. As part of the tailings dam project, there are the existing equipment and the existing pumping stations and the cyclones, which separate the coarse sands with the separated from the fine sands. And then the, the water is treated, neutralized, and repumped back to the concentrator where it is uh, reused. So the system, electrical system has to be reliable and efficient in order to have a process which is continually as much as possible. Okay, as a background, uh, the present power consumption in the tailings dump is eight megawatts and the client required for the future, up to 20 megawatts. And that included a new 30 MBA transformer. And the, uh, the, uh, the, the present situation, they, they observe excessive voltage drop during normal operation which was really worse when the, some of the large motors were, were connected to the system, to the electrical system. The, the voltage drop was excessive. So, for example, in the pumping stations, we have uh, uh, motors uh, 4160 volts and uh, 1250 horsepower. Uh, the topology of the electrical system is going to be changed. So different uh, studies had to be reconducted. Uh, new analysis had to be done because the uh, the, the, the some of the recommendations uh, found that uh, they needed automatic voltage regulators in some of the longest uh, transmission line uh, that were distributing power to the tailings dump. So we wanted the client wanted a very efficient. Uh, unreliable electrical system. So we started uh, with the ETAP digital twin. Uh, that was elaborated by our company right from the ground and uh, they have uh, the transmission high voltage level is 138 kilovolts. The distribution level is about 13.8 kilovolts. And then the application voltage to the loads 
is 4160 uh, volts and 480 volts. The size of the digital twin was around 1,000 electrical nodes. Uh, we model all the components and also the two voltage regulators, automatic regulators that are installed in some of the, in two substations. It was necessary to create with a 3D facility tool that ETAP has, we had to create several scenarios according to the operation and according to the, the power supply, the MBA, we changed the short circuit MBA or the, or the Thevenin's equivalent point. And finally, we had to validate the digital twin model. Uh, we validated using the field measurements of the SCADA system, which the client has already installed. And in some cases, we had to also take some field measurements. The model was validated, and then we proceed to the following studies. Well, as you all know, the mother of all studies is the low flow. And the low flow showed uh, us uh, some uh, voltage drops exceeding the tolerance, the ANSI tolerance. And they have voltage drops exceeding minus 5%. A similar case was for the power factor, which in some places, uh, the digital twin, uh, in, it was below 70%. Uh, so Electro Integra made uh, some recommendations to the client. Some of them already have been successfully implemented and others are in the process of being implemented by the client. Re the recommendations were designed and modeled uh, in ETAP, which include, for example, changing the types of eight transformers. Yeah. Okay, the next study that we did was the short circuit study to see if the capacity of the existing electrical equipment and the new equipment, the capacity was according to the ratings of, and the, the, the results of the short circuit studies. Uh, we analyzed the three phase bolted short circuit, the line to ground, the line line ground, and the line line faults were analyzed. All equipment ratings were checked against uh, fault currents. And also we considered uh, a local uh, the characteristic that we have is that the national grid is in constant expansion, the capacity. So the short circuit MBA, it was simulated as the present value, the MBA short circuit value, and also with 20% 20, 20 for future uh, national grid possibly in a few years, it could you reach that uh, Thevenin's equivalent, which is actually what we're talking about. Uh, we found that all the equipment was found to be compliant. Okay, 
Okay, since uh, we involved a very large uh, uh, motor start uh, up to 1,250 horsepower, the voltage drop that occurs during the half cycle uh, is very important to see if the motor will reach uh, synchronism or not. And that's especially in a, uh, needed uh, in a case of a weak system, power system. Uh, the results of the motor start were compared with the fuel measurements and proved to be highly accurate. Uh, we did some recommendations to the client, uh, and which uh, has been in many cases uh, implemented. Uh, finally, we did the protection and coordination study. Uh, we developed about 500 uh, time current curves from the levels of 138 kV down to 480 volts. Uh, Using ETAP start module, we develop all these uh, TCC curves and the, the, the relay, the detail relay settings for the entire electrical system expansion was accomplished. Having a tool like ETAP save us hundreds of man hours engineering man hours, as we were able not only to create the TCC curves, but also verify that our protective device settings were correct. We use the ETAP start auto evaluation tool to check our settings against the industry standard. And the sequence of operation tool to verify proper coordination of the devices in case of a specific faults in the system. I think uh, I want to thank you, all the OTI staff and to all the that we are sharing this presentation to all the listeners and some of my friends uh, that we always had this annual meeting in, in uh, Arvine, California. My friends on China Rep, Mr. Wilson, we also to our friend in, in New Zealand, in Australia, which uh, we share some of the mining uh, um, technology using ETAP uh, start. Thank you to all. Bye-bye.